Hi, this is Kelly from Pateka Kelly and Play Learn Talk, and in today's tutorial, we're going to jump right into our Boom Workstation and finish creating the second variation of a memory match game that we've been doing in this series. If you are new to this series, don't worry, you can find all the other videos in the playlist, and please make sure to subscribe if you'd like to be notified of all the future steps in this series and um, any other videos that I post, I post daily. So let's go ahead and jump into the Workstation now that we've seen the page, and we will create this pretty, pretty quickly. All right, okay, so here is our page. We're going to have some draggable cover cards. We're going to have some clickable pictures. We're going to have a drop zone, a movable piece, and then two um, typeable word boxes. Okay, so we're going to come over to this blank page and we're going to grab new cards from images and grab that background that we created yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to grab this one. It looks a little different than the one that I had in the tutorial. Um, simply because I made it prior to the tutorial. So some of these are out of order, okay? But it has the same structure to it. So here is our background. So once you have yours there, the next step that you're gonna take is making these pictures clickable. So we're gonna grab a text box. You wanna delete the text from inside of it. And you simply wanna make it the size of the square of the picture, okay? So we're going to do that. And we wanna mark it as correct. And we're gonna duplicate it, okay? So once we've done that, we can, these look pretty aligned, but if they weren't, we could click on both of them, go over to align and hit top, and it's going to align them to their tops, okay? So now they're perfectly aligned. We're gonna click on both, hold down Command C, Command V, and then we have a duplicate of both of those, and that's saving us time from having to go over and mark them correct again. So Command C, Command V, and then we get our last pair where we bring it down like that. Okay, so let's grab both of these and move them over just a little bit. Everything looks like it's in line. This might need to go up a little bit. Really doesn't matter for this because they're going to be covered up, but just so you know, you can click on both of them and either use your arrow keyboard or you can come over to um, the alignment option. Okay, right here. All right, so those are ready and done. So now we need to get our drop zone. We're going to grab a text box, delete the text from inside of it, and we want the, the entire drop zone to be right here, okay? So we wanna have a drop zone up here um, and we wanna have a drop zone down here that's gonna be covered up. So we're going to just hit drop zone, okay? Now we're going to actually duplicate this page and I'm gonna get rid of these um, and just delete them. This is gonna be our um, you know, extra page to work on and we need to grab our cover cards. So we're gonna grab an image and my top image I believe is this one, okay, and I have um, cover images that make up kind of a puzzle piece. Now in the tutorial we made ones that were numbered, so you can use whatever you're using, and you're simply going to size it to cover the square, okay? So we do want to make these draggable, okay, so we're going to click off so we can see it. Looks like it needs to move up a little bit more, and that looks like it fits in perfectly. So I'm going to hit this little blue tab and do Command C, Command V, move it over here. I'm going to click on both of them and go over to my align tool, which is here. Okay, so they are now aligned. I'm going to click on both of them, Command C, Command V, move them down. So it's the same process as last time, Command C, Command V. And they are all draggable and they're all the same size. So now we just simply need to replace the images. Okay, and we're going to grab, I think, let's see, uh, this one, oops. I think this one needs to be it, okay. Actually, okay. <laughs> so the puzzle piece one's gonna make it a little harder for me since I am trying to match it. Um, okay, so this is gonna be how it goes here. And then the very bottom one is going to be this one. And this one, okay. So that's perfect. Okay, so now we are not going to assign these to our drop zone whatsoever um, because we want them to be able to sit on top and pop back where we want them to go. So now we're going to grab our um, fill in the blank text box. Okay, and we're going to actually put it right here on top of the sorting mat and we're going to change the background to a white color and that is it. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate that one, Command C, Command V, bring it down here, and put it in that little box area. Make sure it fits inside. So it looks like it needs to go down just a little bit. That looks good. Our last step is going to be 
grabbing our background image. Okay, so here is our cave and we need to make this draggable. Okay, so it is the um, topmost layer. So we're going to make it draggable and that is going to allow us to sort these behind. So we want to click on the cave and we're going to go to Z order and make sure it's at the very front. Okay, so everything should work here. Now we're just going to preview this page even though this is our practice page. We want to see that these can sort over here. They do and they go behind. We'll double check that all of them go behind and they do. Okay, and we can type in here. So I found a, that looks good. I found a, okay, this looks good. So we just need to make these clickable images. So since we have most of our stuff done on this page, let's just go over and grab these images. Okay. And we're going to do Command C, and we'll come over to this page, Command V, and they should have actually layered back behind. So let's see if that happened. So now we should be able to drag our um, cover card, click on the image. We can. Okay. And if we want to put these back, they're going to go right back to where they go to because we did not make them connected to anything. Okay. We'll double check that they can all go in again, and they can. All right, so that is the tutorial. Um, we have created that page. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, if you'd like to see me do any other features on this page before we move on into a new type of tutorial, okay? So in the previous videos, I mentioned how we can make these images have sound. Let me know in the comments below and I'll show you how to do that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, and navigation pages, if you wanna do navigation pages. So um, yeah. Okay, guys. All right. I'll see you in the next video.